might have an idea for broadcast day. <coughs> so I'll have an idea for broadcast day. <coughs> Why don't I have an idea for broadcast day? Ralphie! Get up, Ralphie! You're going to be late for school! Oh, no! <coughs> Ralphie, what are you doing? Our class is broadcasting two hours of live television today, and I said I'd have a show for them to do. And I don't. Yet. <coughs> but I will! <coughs> no, you won't. What? It's my opinion, as your mother, and as a doctor, that you have a fever, which means you are sick, which means you are going back to bed. But, but, Mom! No buts about it, Ralphie. I'm sure your class can do broadcast day without you. We can't do it without him! And we go on in an hour! Where, Where is he? I'll get it! Wondering what you got to. Hello? Oh, yes, Dr. Tonelli. Dr. Tonelli, that's Ralphie's mom. Uh huh, yes, I see. Uh huh, uh huh. Yes, he's sick. Oh, poor Ralphie. Why aren't I surprised? Of course, he must stay in bed. What? In bed? What about broadcast day? Yes, Dr. Tonelli. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Is Ralphie staying home from school today, Miss Frizzle? Yes, I'm afraid so, Arnold. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Why, we're taking school to him, of course. To the bus! Are we doing broadcast day from Ralphie's room, Miss Frizzle? What better place to take chances, make mistakes? And it sure is messy! Miss Frizzle, are you sure this visit isn't a field trip? <laughs> what do you think, Arnold? I think Ralphie shouldn't have stayed home today. How can anything that smells like grape shoe polish help my body get well? Ugh. It will if you take one teaspoon three times a day. And don't forget to shake well before using. Like this? <laughs> Even your jokes are sick. Open. No! Oh boy, I feel great! Mom, you are a miracle doctor. Can I go to school now? Forget it, Ralphie. I've got to go see another patient. But Grandpa's downstairs if you need anything. I'll check in later. If I get an idea, I'll still have time to phone it in. That's it! A phone-in! Huh? Hi, we're here! Hello! Ralphie, we're here! I must be hallucinating. Maybe I'm sicker than I thought. Hi, Ralphie! How you doing? Uh-oh! Gee, you look terrible. Don't worry, I'll have you camera ready in no time. <coughs> Is it just me? Or is my entire class standing in my room? Aren't you glad to see us? <laughs> we came to do broadcast day. Really? What a great idea. Now and then I do have them, Ralphie. Speaking of great ideas, what's yours, Ralphie? Mine? Oh, you mean for broadcast day? <laughs> oh, you'd better take it easy, Ralphie. Your body is telling you to slow down. But, Miss Frizzle, I can't. We have a show to do. What does my body know anyway? Oh, it knows a lot about the detection and rejection of infection, Ralphie. Whoa! Inside you, at this moment, there is action, excitement, adventure. Exactly what we need for our show. So, what's your idea, Ralphie? Uh, well, um... <coughs> What's going on with my body anyway? Oh, that's an excellent question, Ralphie. Class, everyone back to the bus. Huh? But, Miss Frizzle, we just got here. Mm-hmm. Single file, please. Wait! Where are you going? You can't go on a field trip now. And I can't do broadcast day all by myself. <coughs> I'm sick. Wait a minute! What's going on? Oh, it was 
was your idea, Ralphie. We're here to get the inside story. Inside story? Inside what? What about broadcasting? Think, Ralphie. Where is all the action right now? The action? Liz, what are you doing? Hang on a second. The action is all inside me. What a great idea. Broadcasting could be about what's going on inside me. Excellent, Ralphie. Roll tape! This is FNN. Good afternoon, I'm Ralphie, and this is the Frizzle News Network. Welcome to our live, on-the-scene coverage of a natural disaster of major proportions. My poor sick body. Over to you, Keisha. Thanks, Ralphie. One disturbing question remains unanswered at this hour. What's making Ralphie sick? The FNN news team hopes to find out. And to do that, they will go straight to the trouble zone. My sore throat. Seatbelts, everyone. Ralphie, say ah. Uh... <laughs> cool. I've never seen that from the outside before. The FNN news team is nearing the disaster area. In a moment, we will have live footage. See anything yet? Whoa! Oh, get a shot of those vocal cords, class. Look how red and swollen his throat is. No wonder it hurts. The question is, why is it red and swollen? And why does it... <coughs> yeah! help it at this rate we'll never get the inside story of what's making ralphie sick we've got to find another way in mm -hmm. it's not as easy for us or germs to get inside the body as you might think yeah skin pretty much covers it how are you gonna get the inside story if you can't get inside wait a second i've got it look at this is it just me? Or does this say, this way in? It's a shortcut. Get it? Shortcut? Carlos, yuck! Excellent observation, Carlos. Seatbelts, everyone! <laughs> wow! You saw it first on FNN News. Hey, you guys! The whole world wants to know. Now that you've found a way in, how are you gonna get to my throat? Ralphie's right. We're all the way down at the knee. Hmm, let's see if I can put you in the picture. As I always say, for every trip, there's a road map. That's Ralphie's bloodstream. Could we travel through his bloodstream to get to his throat? Absolutely, Dorothy Ann. We'll take the Trans-Ralphie Highway system. And here we go! Wahoo! <laughs> Those are tiny, tiny blood vessels. They're all part of the bloodstream. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe! Surmise, Ralphie. According to my research, they're called red blood cells. And the white ones are white blood cells. But what are those jaggedy things? Those are platelets. They help the body heal scrapes and cuts. But we still don't know what's making me feel sick. And boy, do I feel sick. Ralphie! I'm home! <gasps> there! <laughs> 
Quick, hide, Liz! Hello, sweetheart. Feeling any better? Yeah! Fine! Great! It, um, looks as if you've been busy. Just, uh, a game I was playing. So, Mom, I think I'll get some sleep now. Hey, what's that you're watching? What? This? It's, um, <laughs> nothing. Just some movie. You wouldn't like it. Oh, I don't know about that. It's remarkably realistic. Look, red blood cells. And those look exactly like white blood cells. Nah, are you kidding? Those are just cheap special effects. Look, you can even see the wires. We're here. We are? We're in Ralphie's throat? There are a lot more white blood cells here. Where are they going? Looks like they're after something. Follow the white blood cells. Sorry, Ralphie, what did you say? Me? Did I say something? Look, that truck thing is following the white blood cells through the blood vessel wall to the place where the infection is. Yes! They're getting the inside story! <laughs> ah, now that we're inside Ralphie's throat tissue, time for some on-the-spot reporting. Up close and personal. Keisha Carlos, camera one. The trick here is not to make eye contact. Phoebe and, uh, Arnold, you take camera two. I'm the one who should have stayed home today. Way to go, guys. Take chances. Get messy. Get out there. Get the story. Just don't mention my name, okay? Ralphie, are you talking to yourself? N not exactly, Mom. And now, over to Keisha and Carlos, live from the throat. Ralphie, that little girl looks just like your friend Wanda. <laughs> Who, her? No, no, no. One is much, uh, shorter. Carlos here. We're out here in the throat tissues trying to find out what's going on and... Hey! What's that? Look at that, folks! Whoa! Have we got us some action here? Those yellow-green balls are destroying that wall. What are those green things? Those are bacterial cells. They're actually not unlike the bacteria that are making you sick. That's bacteria, and it's making me sick? This just in, folks. That's bacteria, and it's making Ralphie sick. And according to my research, bacteria are germs. Once inside our bodies, they can make us sick. Ralphie has a bacterial infection. This is it! <clears throat> the inside story! Bacteria invades throat! Is it just me, or did they say Ralphie? No, no. It says here this show's about a guy named... It's me on my aim name. The bacteria from Ralphie's throat infection are everywhere. And they're destroying his throat cells. Look, look. Here comes some white blood cells. Whoa. Wow. It's throwing stuff at the bacteria. That, that was incredible. That white blood cell just ate those bacteria. That huge battle is going on inside me? I mean inside a a Alfie. <laughs> this battle is raging! Who's going to win? No wonder I'm sick. Arnold here, on location with the infection. I'm going to try to get an exclusive interview with these two bacteria. I mean, four bacteria. I mean, eight bacteria? Hey, guys! Are you all right? I don't think you should be watching this. No! I mean... <laughs> Please don't turn it off, Mom. I want to see how it ends. I'll tape it for us downstairs. But you don't understand. What I understand is that your body needs to save its strength so it can use its energy to battle those bacteria. You have to rest, sweetheart. It's not just me, Ralphie. Any good doctor knows the best cure is complete rest. Over to me, Dorothy Ann. Right now, the white blood cells are losing. Certainly looks that way, Dorothy Ann. They need help. They need backup support. Ralphie, did you hear me? Where's our backup support? Uh, backup support? 
Where do I get that? Not to worry, Ralphie. It's already on its way. Cue the medicine! Is that the medicine Mom gave me earlier? It sure is, Ralphie. Look what it's doing! It's destroying more bacteria. The medicine is giving the white blood cells another chance. And they're throwing out even more of those stick things. Oh, those stick things are antibodies. The white blood cells use them to mark the bacteria. I hope this doesn't mean what I think it means. Oh, no. Ralphie's antibodies are marked the boss's bacteria. But we're not bacteria. We're Ralphie's friends. But his white blood cells are doing such a good job. They now recognize us as enemies, too. Enemies? But we know what white blood cells do to enemies. That's right, Arnold. They'll try to destroy us. Destroy us? Oh, the wonder of the human body. Ralphie! Do something! Don't worry, class. In order to destroy us, Ralphie's white blood cells will have to catch us first. But we've got to get out of Ralphie's throat! Good thinking, Keisha. When the spot is tight, hang a rut! The what? According to my research, that means... His nose? We're up Ralphie's nose? <laughs> That's the inside of my nose? Weird. <coughs> Bless you. Of course, there's no telling how long we'll have to stay here. Or how long we can stay here. Liz, I'm trying to think here. I get it. I've got to sneeze them out, but I don't feel like sneezing. <laughs> Second floor, boy socks, whoop, going up! This is Keisha, still reporting to you live for FNN. We are now back in Ralphie's room. So, Ralphie, what do you have to say about today's amazing adventure? Well, I'm sorry that my body made such a mess of it. Wait a minute. Do you really think your body's been working against you? Sure, and against you, too. You almost didn't get in. Remember? Only because your body's built to keep out things like a bunch of germs. Or a bus full of kids. And my throat is so sore I can barely talk. Only because your body is sending extra blood there to help fight the infection. Okay, but what about when you almost got gobbled up by my white blood cells? Only because your body thought we were bacteria. Your body was only trying to protect you. I guess you're right. My body was just trying to get rid of germs. Like you. <laughs> Come along, class. Good old body. Hmm, so that's the inside story, isn't it, Miss Frizzle? That's the inside story, Ralphie. Pretty amazing, don't you?